Hi guys, Hayden here. We got a suggestion from one of you in our Discord server wanting a guide on how to overtake. I'll be making this as a series with specific tracks and also how to defend your position. For example, how to overtake and defend at Barcelona. But first, we'll be doing a general guide and you'll see some similarities in each corner types. I have come up with five corner types to go through today. Slow right angle corners, fast right angle corners, slow chicanes, fast chicanes and hairpins. Before we proceed in the video, we want to say a huge thanks to Aniba for sponsoring this video. Aniba.com is a new gaming marketplace with over 10,000 digital products in their library and are always expanding to become your go-to place for your gaming needs. On Aniba, you will find the best deals in the marketplace for any titles, both new and old. With their excellent Trustpilot score, you can be confident your gaming will continue without any trouble. Aniba also has their customers at heart and offer 24-7 live support to clear any concern you might have with your purchase. I just picked up Assetto Corsa for only 6 bucks and saving 72%, but you can also add our discount code UNLEASHED for an extra 3% off. So head on over to Aniba.com to get that game you've always wanted. Alright, to attack at slow right angle corners you are needing to get an equal or better uh, exit off the last corner than the car you're attacking. Coming into the corner you need a break a tiny bit later as we'll show you in the onboard. So we're on the onboard now and got a little bit more speed coming into the inside. Looking out for the braking boards and then trying to spot our braking point. So we need a break a little later than usual to get alongside the car so we can take the corner and continue on the racing line. Defending is similar to overtaking, just that we're the car ahead this time. Uh, the car behind is coming up to us pretty quickly, so we pull to the inside and try to keep our corner. And we come on to the young board here. Seeing the car behind, moving to the inside, spotting the braking boards and planning out our braking point. So ideally we want to break at the normal braking point so we don't out break ourselves and lose the position altogether. Keep the racing line now and successfully defend the position. Overtaking at fast right angle corners. So we're at poor card here. We have a long straight to the next corner. So it's not very well that important to get a good exit, but obviously it's ideal. So you want to get the slipstream from the car ahead and you want to be alongside them you don't really want to be diving into uh, these fast corners because it co could cause a massive crash so alongside keep the inside and keep on the racing line and you should have it on the onboard here in the slipstream of the car ahead a little love tap there if you if you're feeling for it but Still have the speed, getting alongside here, and now we want to find our braking point. So there's the meter boards. And you want to brake at the same point you, you usually do, uh, just to prevent yourself from going, or out braking yourself from going wide, and you should have the position. Right, defending at fast right angle corners, we are a car ahead looking in the mirror for the car behind covering off the inside so he has nowhere to go coming up to the braking zone spotting the braking point and taking the inside racing line and keeping the position coming to the onboard looking at the mirrors and there he is Pull to the inside so he has to go to the outside for a long way around. Spotting the braking points and brake at the normal braking point because again you don't want to outbreak yourself and go wide. And it's very easy to do so on fast corners anyway. Right, overtaking at slow chicanes. We want to be braking later than the car ahead just to get the car car in front and yeah keeping the car ahead here and getting a decent exit but the car will most likely get a better exit than you. So looking at the markers here 
you want to brake a little later than usual. Trying not to lock up and go deep. That's probably as deep as you want to go. And you'll probably have to defend into the last or into the next corner because the car behind will um, go for the overtake. So defending, we want to do the same thing, keep to the inside. But this time you kind of want to brake at the normal braking zones, you don't go too wide. And then continue uh, the exit out there so it's a better exit. Um, so coming in here, look at the mirrors, brake at the normal braking point. Okay, I'll go to the outside. Still a little bit deep but we, are th we may get a better exit than before just to keep the position. Overtaking at a far chicane, so it's similar to a slow chicane, just faster obviously. Uh, so we want to be somewhat alongside the car ahead so we can do a somewhat of a dive into a far chicane. So we've got in the slipstream here. Pulling to the inside, looking for the braking points. Brake at the normal braking point because we don't want to outbreak ourselves. A little bit of oversteer there, but we just managed to hold it, and that's a nice overtake. Defending is similar. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, everything in here is pretty, pretty much the same. Just different types of corners. So it comes to the inside. Right at the normal braking point and continue on the racing line. So that was pretty close, but we uh, managed to get it. So the car behind's in the slipstream. Notice he's getting pretty close, so we pull to the inside, look for the braking point, brake at the normal point. He's on the outside there. And we pull to the inside for the racing line and we accelerate ahead. Overtaking at a hairpin, it's um yeah, probably the most unique things, but it's more outbreaking your opponent, but hopefully not yourself. So there we go. Breaking or outbreaking the car ahead. He has to go wide and we come into the outside to get the better exit. See this from the onboard better exit than the car here but because this is a tricky corner into the hairpin the inside car will have to brake earlier than the outside just to get the car slowed down and turn turned at the same time without spinning the car so it's quite of a, an art to do that um, properly so we're defending this time so we want to keep on the outs or the inside so the car has to go on the outside and we managed to keep it like that. On the onboard here. And he gets a much better exit so we see that he's pretty a bit aggressive. Come to the inside and break. Trying not to outbreak ourselves completely and get in the exit. So this has been a general guide on Assetto Corsa on how to overtake. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you next time.